Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here to show you something a little bit out of the ordinary for this channel. Now what you see in front of you looks like a fairly nondescript to you server chassis, but what's inside this machine is something special. This machine is packing two of Intel's brand new Broadwell EP series Xeon processors. Specifically, there's two E5-2697 V4 series processors in here, and each one has 18 cores. So you're talking 36 physical cores between the two processors. Plus, each core has hyper-threading, so they can do two threads per core, so 72 total threads at once. Now, for comparison, a top-of-the-line Core i7-5960X is an eight-core chip that can process two threads per core, so 16 threads in a Core i7-5960X system. That'll give you the idea of the kind of horsepower. There's also 256 gigabytes of RAM and a couple of fast SSDs. And because it's a 2U chassis with some serious horsepower inside, there's tons of cooling and a powerful PSU. I'm going to give you a look inside in just a second. All right, so I went ahead and took the lid off of the server. I'm not going to fully disassemble anything because if I break anything, I'm going to have to sell the kidney to pay for it, and I'm not about to do that. So here at the front of the system is where all of the drive bays were. Here is a row of fans that blow air across all of the components inside. Now here are the two processors underneath some fairly beefy heat sinks and all of the RAM situated right next to them. As you can see, air can easily flow right over all those components through the shroud. Right over here is a couple of PCI Express riser cards and here is where the power supply is situated. This case can actually handle two PSUs but only one is installed. Alright, in just a moment we're going to run a benchmark called Cinebench on this system. Now, if you haven't seen Cinebench run, it basically renders a 3D scene and gives you a visual representation on screen as it's doing it. Cinebench will also use all available CPU resources. So a 72-thread system like this can churn through it pretty quickly. If you haven't run Cinebench on your system, go ahead and pause the video now, download it, and run it. I want you to see how it runs, even if you have a really high-end enthusiast desktop system. Go ahead and watch Cinebench run. Pause the video. We'll wait. All right, I'm going to assume you just ran Cinebench and you see how it performs on even a high-end Core i7 system. Now prepare to have your jaw drop. 